hello everyone in this video tutorial we are going to learn how to install a subdomain on a wordpress website to create a subdomain you need to have a domain already registered and a website created on it a subdomain is just like a normal website but it will be used for specific purposes for example if you have an educational website and you want to create a subdomain for uploading training videos or other contents so for example if your website is educationalblog.com your subdomain will be trainingvideos.com.educationalblog.com you can name it according to your requirement in order to create a subdomain log into your cpanel mine just look like looks like this yours will be according to your web hosting company godaddy or web host gator has different cpanels now scroll down find subdomains click on it give it a name for example I am giving it support it will be installed on a domain which is I have only one domain at a time at this time it is maclectures.com the directory will be support now if you go to file manager it will be shown here but as we haven't created it yet so it doesn't show here when you create it create the subdomain has been created and go back now if you come here to file manager and reload the page as you can see here support has been created now the next step will be installing wordpress on this subdomain you can also redirect it to your main domain or another website but here in this video we are going to install wordpress on this subdomain go to home of cpanel and scroll down find quick install in this case I have apps installer I'll click on that now we need to install wordpress on our subdomain click on wordpress install now select a domain on which you want to install your wordpress I will select support.maclectures.com maclectures is my website and support is a subdomain we will now if you want to directly install wordpress on your subdomain leave that empty the site name will be anything you like and a site description is according to your requirement for example my site name is mechanical solutions 
and side description is prevailing education now if you scroll down you will see admin username and password which are which are used to log into your subdomain dashboard admin um, I am already using admin so I will choose admin username as admin1 and the password you can generate a random password here or you can give it according to your preference I will enter my password the email will be admin at support dot mclectures dot com language will be english we don't need plugins here at the moment so we will leave it unchecked now these are the themes which will be installed on your subdomain I will select a simple theme here you can enter an email address here where installation details will be sent I have entered my email address click on install we wait Congratulations, the software was installed successfully. Now, administrator URL this is where you will log in as an admin. We will open it in a new window. This is the dashboard of our website and if you like want to see how the website looks click on visit website our website looks like this this is because we have selected a simple theme and we haven't added new pages or other contents this is by default uh, post which comes with the theme now if you go back to dashboard you can add pages here add new example I'm doing a page training videos publish a page has been created now in appearance you can select themes, customize, widgets, etc. There are hundreds of thousands of themes available in WordPress. Choose according to your choice. When you come to menus, create a menu main menu we create it and we add training videos to it and save the menu now if you go to your website here it is training videos you can add post to it according to your 
or preference so in this video we learned how to create a subdomain in wordpress using cpanel